Hi, my name is Terran. I'd like to answer some facts about angels. I don't think I've personally uh, encountered an angel, but the Bible says sometimes you might encounter an angel and not realize it. I think of my friend Daniela, who a few years ago was in Long Street of Cape Town. She was so dejected, her head was down, and suddenly someone taps her on the arm and she looks up and she sees a homeless lady whose face is radiant. And the lady says, cheer up. God is with you. Don't be afraid. And she says, suddenly this joy just comes over her and she looks down again as if to take it in and then looks up to thank the lady who has now vanished. Okay, question one. What are the different types of angels? Well, there are unfallen angels and then there are the fallen ones. We'll speak about those next week. Uh, most angels don't have a name in the Bible. They're just simply called holy angels or chosen angels. There is, however, um, Archangel Michael, who is a warrior angel, whose name means how great is our God. Uh, and then there is uh, Gabriel, a principal messenger angel. He speaks of the likes of Daniel and Mary, and his name means the hero. There are two unusual angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, both winged angels who dwell in the, the most holy presence of God in the very throne room of God, who apparently celebrate uh, the holiness of God and protect the holiness of God from the defilement of sin. Are angels male or female? Jesus teaches us that uh, the angels don't marry. Some people take this to mean that angels are genderless, but that's not what Jesus said. Throughout the Bible, angels are always male. Some Bible scholars point to Zechariah 5, which speaks about two women who apparently seem to be angels. They have wings. Other Bible scholars point out that this is a metaphoric vision and it probably doesn't refer to angels. Do some people become angels when they die? I've attended funerals where people make this claim, but it's not true. Angels are angels. People are people. When someone passes away, they don't become your guardian angel. Does every believer have a guardian angel? One verse some people point to is Matthew 18 verse 10 where Jesus says the children's uh, angels in heaven always see the face of the Father in heaven. Well, that verse tells us not that we have guardian angels, it tells us that we have a guardian father. The angels are attentive to the Father who is attentive to us. It's true, angels are sent to help us pass a message on to us at times, but at nowhere in the Bible does it say that they're permanently assigned to one individual. Can believers command or pray to angels? Well, Hebrews 2 says that as humans on earth, we are lower than the angels. We can't command them. Uh, in the Bible, angels reject the worship of people. They would reject dependent prayer too, so we can't pray to them. As to whether we can speak to them, the biblical norm is if one angel were to speak to you, you could speak back to him. Do angels have their own language? Apparently so. Paul says, uh, if I can speak in the tongues of men and of angels. And finally, can angels be seen? Uh, yeah, if they choose to be seen. Uh, we're told in Numbers 22 that even a donkey saw an angel. And uh, we know that the angels subdued the lions in Daniel's den. Uh, how do they appear? Either in human form or in a vision or as a translucent warrior of light that makes your knees go weak. 